Good morning, dear friends. Here we are. It is a new day, a new beginning, and probably halfway through the day for many people, or the end of the day for others. Prayer doesn't have time. Any time is time to pray. Prayer is communication with God, and God is always connected with us. The question is, are we consciously? connected to God. Today, we're going to go talk about our daily gratitude. Yes, we need to learn to count the blessings. Dr. Martin Salomon from Penn State University explains clearly his scientific findings. People who practice daily gratitude boost their optimism which is key for a healthy mental health. Carlos Torres Pastorino, in his turn, in the book Minutes of Wisdom, chapter 285, he recommends to us daily a new phase of work, a new step of work is initiated. Remember, to thank the Father for the rest that you were given and prepare yourself to fulfill your tasks with joy and goodwill. Always also thank the work that provides the bread of each day, the daily bread, and seek to perform in the best possible way that you can. The well-performed, executed work brings to us joy in the duty well-fulfilled. Think about this. I remember when I was in college and Daily, I would arrive very early and I would write as the class representative a message by Emmanuel from the book Living Spring on the right corner of the board just to give people a boost. And people ask, why are you doing this? Well, to give people hope. It's not in the job description. When people go to college, their job is to study. When we have a paid job, we have a job description to fulfill. But do you limit yourself to that job description? Can't we go above and beyond the call of duty and really do more? Yes, we can always do more. And of course, the more means different. We need courage. No wonder Jesus said to Bartholomew. It's written in chapter 8 of the book Good News. By the spirit author Humberto de Campos. Through the medium Chico Xavier. There are three things that the followers of the good news need as trademark. Joy, hope, and courage. The courage to do the right. The courage to innovate in the good. It's very natural. It's in all of us. We are part of nature. And nature blossoms inside of us without us doing much effort. Actually, we spend a lot of effort resisting, restricting ourselves. No more. Let your light 
shine amidst the odds, the obstacles, the challenges. Let us fight for what is right. Where today? When and where today, here and now? If you're home, that's your place to do the good. If you're at work, elsewhere at work, in an office, that's the place. If you are at school, that's the place. If you are sick in the hospital, that's the place to work and practice daily gratitude. There's no way to be joyful without gratitude. There's no way to be hopeful without gratitude. And there's no way to foster courage in the good if we're not grateful for what we already have. Let us pray and feel this invitation inside of us saying, today is a new day. Oh, happy day. It is a happy day because it's a new beginning for all of us. Let us pray together and feel this boost of joy that is showered upon us daily. Dear God, you invented all the good in the world, in the universe, or even universes. You invented joy, and we feel it. You invented all the love that exists in the world. And you have given and provided to us all the resources that we need. Forgive us for the moments in which we push it away. Self-sabotage ourselves. We pray for your light and your love permeating ourselves our homes displacing toxins of the spiritual fluids placing a flower a vase of flowers at our dining table with healing perfume. So at each meal we may inhale the perfume of your harmony, of your love. We visualize your kindness enveloping all of us. Especially our loved ones who need greater strength. We visualize friends, neighbors, colleagues at work, all of our acquaintances being given roses of peace. In our communities, the spiritist communities related to each one of us, enveloped in a light of protection, in a light of togetherness. We breathe in and out this healing air, pacifying our minds, bringing us serenity. Thank you, God, for this moment. And so be it. What a new day. Yes, Felipe, he's saying yes today. 
It is a new day for all of us, a fresh start. God is so good. Yes, Felipe. Thank you for your presence. So today, gratitude. Huh? Every time you stop and say, what do I have to do now? Express gratitude. Gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. Let's stop taking for granted the gifts of life. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Slavic. Thank you, Felipe. Thank you, Luke. Thank you, Katia. Thank you, Narciso. Thank you, Grupo Coração de Luz. Thank you, Gabriel Inácio. Thank you, Aline. A big hug. And a wonderful day in gratitude. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow at another morning prayer here at Kardec Radio, where you and I are always nourishing our souls. Thank you, friends.